get by. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fog, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Lee Steinberg was kind enough to provide and share some of his wisdom. If you don't know Lee Steinberg, he's an American sports agent. During his 41, over 41 year career, he's represented over 300 professional athletes in football, baseball, basketball, boxing, Olympic sports. He's represented the number one overall pick in the NFL draft, a record eight times. And he's credited as the real life inspiration of sports agent from Cam and Crow's film, Jerry McGuire. He successfully negotiated over $3 billion in contracts for players, including Troy Aikman, Steve Young, Ryan Leaf. He, and like I said, he's represented the number one pick in the NFL draft over and over. And um, it's really amazing what he has done in his career. He's even helped and been uh, a consultant on different movies from Jerry Maguire to Any Given Sunday to For the Love of the Game and many, many more. So listen to Lee Steinberg's wisdom. For me, and a shout out to all your listeners. Back in 1994, Steve Young and the 49ers made the Super Bowl. And Steve had been in the shadow of Joe Montana, just like every younger brother is in the shadow of the more prolific brother. And in the minds of some 49er fans, Joe Montana had completed every pass, gone to the Super Bowl every year, and poor Steve had a hard time getting any recognition. So he throws six touchdown passes and is MVP and runs off the field. And I got down on the field in Miami and was able to uh, run to him. And we hugged. And he said, the monkey's off my back. The monkey's off my back. So what that shows you is ultimately, as long as uh, you have some ability to hang in there and be determined, you can make it in life. Now this year, Patrick Mahomes went three straight playoff games, always coming from behind. And in the first game against Houston, he was behind by 24 points. So what does anyone do in a time of adversity or stress? Do they panic? Do they fold? Or are they resilient? Can they come back in the face of throwing a couple interceptions, the crowd starting to boo, the center's looking at the quarterback like he's on hallucinogens? What do you do now? Can you elevate your level of play, compartmentalize, find a quiet mind? So those two examples of resilience and the ability to come back are key to everyone in life. If I was an entrepreneur, I think that the first great skill is the ability to listen. If you can peel back the layers of the onion to another human being, and get to understand their deepest anxieties and fears and their greatest hopes and dreams. It's possible then to put yourself in the heart and mind of another human being and see the world the way they see it. Because ultimately, everything comes down to relationships between people. When I've tried to set up new businesses and companies and be entrepreneurial, the key is this, it's to have vision about the market and where it's going, to find a niche where you can develop a new solution. And then once you have your concept set, drive to market as rapidly as possible so that you become ubiquitous. I still call uh, tissue Kleenex. So if you can establish that type of market dominance to be able to resist the people who will come and challenge you, you're in good shape. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better.